And boom, we are 70, baby. Episode 70, Evergreen Dental Arts. We are live coming up shortly. Uh, I'm going to show you this episode. We're going to visit Evergreen Dental Arts. Aren't one of the best places. First of all, who the heck am I? My name is Roman Singh Nahal. I'm the host of the Best of Evergreen San Jose Show. And at the Best of Evergreen San Jose Show, we talk real estate, we talk your local small businesses, and you know we talk about the best of Evergreen San Jose. And as I was saying before in this episode, let's take a closer look at Evergreen Dental Arts. Great place, where I found. Um, I highly recommend them. Let's do it. To talk to me, Dr. Rose. Oh, let me flip the camera. I know you got a lot of fans of Courtney. And all the people who've said what's up to Dr. Rose is, is watching. Um, I'll give you guys a tour later, but I want to kind of talk to Dr. Rose. Dr. Rose, so when you come in here, what is the most common thing you see, dude? You're always, uh, what is the most, typically, typically, first of all, what do you guys do here? You yourself, right. your cleanings? Yeah, so, so here, uh, myself, I'm a general dentist here at Evergreen Dental Arts. Uh, I'm the main dentist here. Uh, practice is owned by Dr. Dow. Come, come but, on, uh, come on here, Dr. Rose. I think you take this off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, besides Dr. Uh, Dow, you were saying. Yeah, like so um, I'm Dr. Dow's uh, permanent associate. Um, <laughs> And uh, she also has a husband named Dr. Lin who also practices here. So we're okay. general dentists um, providing uh, all facets of general dental care. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So what's your, what's your advice? We can give some value to these people out here watching, something they can uh, avoid to save money. Well, first of all, let's talk about what I had going on. I have no yeah. problem. I, I'm, I'm a horrible man. My, my hygiene was horrible. I noticed kind of a, a, a little lump, which we hope is because of one of my root canals that was super uh, stubborn that we kind of x-rayed. Right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, so you have a broken down tooth on that lower left side, and sometimes uh, if an abscess forms, it wants to drain out through the lymph nodes located underneath the, uh, the uh, mandible there. So that's what you probably have going on. So right. we'll give them a round of antibiotics, and it should clear up the site. Yep. They'll go get the tooth extracted, have a bone graft, and then get an implant on the line. Now my options are I can get a bridge. Yes. Uh, you recommended the implant is the best way to go. Yeah, yeah. And, and hopefully nobody ever has to even get to this part. That's right. Uh, but this is basically what happens when um, you know you you, first of all, you don't take care of a, a filling. Right, right. A cavity. Exactly. A fracture can happen. Decay can set in underneath the the, the uh, material and cause destruction to the point where you bite down and the tooth can fracture. And what does what does a cavity uh, do? You know, when you get a filling and yeah. so forth. So a cavity is caused by a bacterial infiltration around the tooth. You know, if you have a, a hole or uh, a little crevice where bacteria and plaque can kind of proliferate there, you eventually get uh, loss of tooth structure right. from the bacteria fermenting sugar in your mouth yep. and releasing acid onto that surface. It's yeah. all sugar, right? Yeah. It sugar, definitely. Sugar causes inflammation uh, and so forth. So the worst case scenario is mine, where you don't you don't take care of it and then you go stage. What root canal is, is what eventually? Yeah, yeah. So once the nerve, once the nerve is affected by this insult, the nerve becomes inflamed to the point where you have to remove it in order to fix the tooth. Right, yeah, and yeah. then essentially losing the darn uh, tooth. Quickly, just a little bit uh, about uh, yourself, Dr. Rose. So yeah. where, where are you from originally? So I'm here, born here and raised in nice. San Jose. Yeah, right down the street actually, right behind Mount Pleasant High School, which is a few, like no almost way. a stone's throw away. So yeah. did you go to MP? No, I went to a different, so I went to MIDI. It's a different uh, school across the, uh, across town. Private school, West yeah. Catholic. <laughs> uh, so you went to MIDI, yeah. finished up at MIDI, yep. and where did you decide uh, to So then after school? that, I went to UC Santa Cruz, studied uh, biology, and then uh, went to Temple Dental for, uh, Dental school in Philadelphia. Nice yeah. temple. Yeah. As in, you were a banana slug. I was a banana slug. Let me get a sample. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. What up? We're gonna get this sweet tour after too. Have you guys just shown us we're at Evergreen Dental Arts? If you're from Evergreen, I've been wanting to do this. Dr. Lim's usually here on what, Fridays. Fridays. I'll be yeah. checking out his his Mountain View uh, office to get. Yeah, he has a practice in Mountain View that he's uh, works at full time. Uh, Monday through Every Thursday. Friday? Oh, Monday, Monday through yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Oh, Monday, yeah. Monday through Thursday and the Fridays he's here. Yes. Uh, Dr. Dow is his wife. She's the owner uh, of here at Evergreen Dental yep. Arts. I know a lot of you guys are probably watching. They're my age. They graduated in 2005. Probably have already met with Dr. Uh, Rojo. Yep. Rojo. Yep. Uh, wonderful. So, uh, so, so, what's the the plan? What other uh, you guys have braces or orthodontists? Yeah, yeah. Thing? So we do a a, a lot of uh, general dental procedure here. Uh, anywhere from cosmetic dentistry, preventative dentistry, 
uh, uh, mild orthodontic cases with Invisalign, mm. uh, root canals, extractions. So we do whitening, whitening, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, patient education. I mean, e everything from the uh, the smallest procedures to some of the largest procedures. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Yeah. And, but uh, you guys usually do the hardcore cosmetic surgery type things here, but Dr. Lim has kind of moved that to Mountain View, right? Or yeah, does Dr. Dow still do that? Uh, no, so Dr. Dow's no at this point is no longer practicing, okay. but she's still the uh, practice owner. Got it. Um, Got so it. Dr. Lim, he has some materials that he has in Mountain View. That's why you were going over there to get a bone graft because we don't have that material here. Right. He does those materials more readily out in Mountain View. Okay. And in my career, since I'm still kind of a newer dentist, I want to wait to gain experience before I start doing those procedures on patients. All right. Well, you did great, man. Everybody, oh, everybody you. loves thank you. you. Everybody always uh, I love all the things. patients. Uh, any advice for the uh, moms out there for how they're dealing with their kids is, let's be realistic, I mean, twice a day is ideal. Yes. Get them to brush. Yep. But... Um, I guess once is better than nothing. Definitely, but yeah. Ideally, brush twice a day, you know, once in the morning, once at night, and before you go to sleep at night, uh, floss. Yes. So you're cleaning out all those surfaces because right. bacteria love to go in any little nook and cranny they can come into. And we're, we're lazy as hell. Any Anything new in the dental world that kind of will help speed up Yeah, no, there's a, a lot. Little, little, yeah. Dent, dentures, I've noticed if you don't like flossing, you can buy those little... Exactly. There's little um, picks. There's little uh, different types of handles for floss. I mean, there's... Uh, different types of mouthwashes now that have fluoride. I mean, there's um, a water picks. So there's a ton of adjuncts now in addition to brushing and flossing. Mm -hmm. But brushing and flossing would be the cornerstones, the pillars of good oral health. I can't remember that for whitening. There's this new, people hate the sensitivity it does, yeah. right? Yeah. And my teeth are yellow as hell, but uh, there's bad. a little mouth, <laughs> yeah, no, no, there's this little, um, a friend of mine told me about this little mouth tray, I forget what it's called, um, but it's kind of a gel and a mouthpiece, and it only takes about five minutes. To close it's for bleaching? Uh, yes. Yeah. For bleaching. yeah. And usually most things don't work like that unless you get in here and do something. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts uh, on those? Is like, should it be harmful at all? If yeah, I mean, everybody's saying, bleaching yeah. nowadays. Uh, some people uh, report sensitivity being the the uh, the, the biggest uh, concern. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people get white spots on their teeth, so it kind of it's kind of a per case uh, type of situation. Mm -hmm. But in general, I mean, most people are bleaching and most people are having successful results. Two modalities: uh, having uh, your dental professional or here uh, make you a bleaching tray, where we have uh, industrialized bleach. You know, it's a, a higher concentration of material. Mm -hmm. We give you instructions on how to use it uh, properly. Uh, the other modality would be just going over the counter and getting something. Okay. It's a lot less concentrated. It takes a, a lot longer, mm -hmm. and it's not a custom. Fits. You know, here we make custom trays that fit perfectly to the uh, patient's dentition. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just guess uh, Dr. Rojo has Evergreen Dental Offices. And what's what's the? I'll, I'll, I'll check in. What's the address? Uh, you know, here? The top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, three one five one South White Road, Suite one zero two. Awesome. Dr. Rose probably is going to head out for lunch. She's hungry, but one last thing is I'm going to give you guys a quick tour from a little uh, tour guide. We'll be on our way. Thank you guys for doing this. I need to spend more time brushing my teeth than making yeah. these videos. Thank you guys. Uh, but for any of you guys uh, who are looking for a good place, I know for a long time I was always going uh, you know, to some, some random place because right, mom, dad said so. But as I started to explore and my wife started to explore, we found Evergreen Dental Art and in the environment, the, the doctors here, everyone's are doctors dentists here are very cool so check it out i'm gonna try to get this off uh <laughs> thank you dr Rowe. and uh but we're not gone yet i'm gonna take a quick tour wait till you hear this tour guy but uh thank you dr i really appreciate thank you sir no problem. The man. You i'll be much. back i'll be back very soon all right let me give you guys a quick look so you know what to expect these guys are are on their stuff man look at got their technology going what the heck is this uh, this is a wonderful tooth here. This is a digital x-ray of your tooth in question here. A lot less radiation and immediately uh, available to view. Wonderful. No chemicals to process. It's a lot better process here. Number 19. Number 19 needs to come out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Who are you, ma'am? Who are you? What's your name? My name is Alyssa Gutierrez. Awesome. I am awesome. the registered dental assistant here at Evergreen awesome. Dental Arts. These are the, these are sweet appointments going on. Oh yes, all of our lovely schedules. You'll probably talk to Tram <laughs> first. Do you have to get through her? What up, Tram? Say hello <laughs> to the world. So yeah, just as you gave me uh, on my first uh, uh, day, let's do well, it. Well then, let's start let's back check here. It out. Yeah, she she was so good at it too. And you were talking, I was like. <laughs> 
this is our lobby. So you do all of your lovely wait time here. Um, it shouldn't be too long. If we're doing our job properly, we'll get you back as soon as we can. No, they've been awesome. I'm, I'm always late, so that's, <laughs> that's my fault. This is our consultation room. So if you ever had questions about insurance or anything like that, Train would be more than happy to take you back here and give you some privacy and kind of go over anything that you need or questions you have about your accounts or anything like that. The credentials. Yes, the Dr. Dr. Dow. Dow's. Dr. Dow's, and you have Dr. Lim's on this wall over here behind you. And Dr. Lim is Dr. Dow's uh, husband. husband yes. Both, uh, oh, USF. Nice. Yep. <laughs> nice, very nice cool. Nice local. So we awesome. have. Let's um, do it. Let's keep moving. We have four operatories. And this one's kind of dark today because we, we haven't been using it today. <laughs> but awesome. Give you a nice, bright idea. Awesome. So it looks super clean. We have. Um, Thank you, Dr. Hogan. Appreciate it. We do have a laser. We offer laser. Unfortunately, at the time being, it is down. Okay. Um, we're hoping to get it up soon. But um, we have. You a, offer a laser. What, is, what does that mean? What is laser? Well, when it hopefully when it gets back up and running, we can help with things like um, anything with your gums. If you had uh, needed removal of your gums, we can kind of help with that. Oh wow. Um, even to help kind of with fillings or if you're sensitive to anesthetic, we can help kind of drive the anesthetic in through that. And so nice to see you guys always like investing in new technologies and stuff and you guys Absolutely. care, right? Yes. Th this is where uh, I just was, <laughs> got in trouble. It's a little trouble. dirty there. Uh, um, so we have a panoramic machine. This oh, is a lovely sweet. panoramic machine. So if you ever needed x-rays for like wisdom teeth or anything like that, we can take this and take a look or even children. If you have little children who don't do so well with regular x-rays because they're kind of humongous in little kids mouth right, right. have this machine and it'll actually take around. the x-rays for little kids uh, too and then all they have to bite on is a small tab so it the makes it there, much right? easier the, the blue yes i can there. even show you sweet so you get one of these little guys and this is all the biting they have to do in their mouth so okay. it makes it much easier oh, for yeah. a patient versus having a big old sensor stuck into the side yeah and having to go to the side yeah. and, and people are always worried about radiation and that type of yes stuff, and we, we do have our warnings you know if you're pregnant you have to let us know ahead of time all those lovely things but radiation is actually they're very highly reduced when it comes to digital x-rays nowadays it reduces they say up to 90 percent so very, very minimal exposure. We don't want to... You know, I told you she was the best. We don't want patients growing a third arm. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. <laughs> that would be bad. This is our lab. So um, we always tell patients, you know, we're 100% OSHA compliant. If you ever have a question on how I sterilize things here in-house, you're more than welcome to ask me about all my protocol. I can recite it at the top of my head. <laughs> um, and, you know, this is our auto... So this is our ultrasonic. We run instruments through here. And then once they're done, they dry on the towel here. And um, then I wrap them here and we put them in the autoclave here. Uh, when, you, when you run those instruments, what that's doing, that's basically sanitizing it, making sure they're clean. What it does, clean, this or? actually removes debris off of them. Oh, so it okay. vibrates the water at a high rate and then um, it kind of just shakes off all the material off of the instruments that are inside. And that's the what kind of the best way to make sure being like 100% hygienic and going out of our way. So that's what I love about these and guys. This, got, this again, the they're play. investing in the technology to make it better for their clients. I yeah. love that. And this is our autoclave. So this is what actually sterilizes the stuff. So even okay. through here, this is still dirty. But once we pass it through here and it's done processing, then we put it here, so it's clean. There's several steps. I'm telling you, people love that and appreciate that because the fact that we don't have knowledge on that uh, we don't know if the place we're going is trying to cut costs and save and, money and, and, you have to check. and the reality is uh, most they will right that's the the whole divide between business and ethics right in yes. the, in this world this is people's teeth the tubes <laughs> They're delivered to Dr. These Rojo. are their lovely cases. This is for kind so, of for, for orthodont, orthodontists. Ooh, night guard. This is for the people who like who chew. Who grind. Who grind. Yes, heavy grinders. And it's yeah, actually our demo. That. You can open it if you'd like to show okay. them. But um, so we do offer these as well in our office. Um, yeah. Basically, if you're a grinder, if you're a clencher, you wake up in the morning with jaw pains, things like that, yeah. this will kind of help to eliminate. It'll stop the grinding process and the wearing of the teeth. So that way you grind the guard and you don't grind your teeth. Yep. You guys also do Invisalign, right? We offer Invisalign as well. And we um, we, we tend to have lots of promotions, but if you, if you 
accept Invisalign here, you get a free lightning. Awesome, so. awesome. Hey, Dr. Dr. Rowe, quick question. Yeah. For, for people, uh, I've had a lot of different mouth guards, but for athletes who want those real, real, when I actually got one done, it was uh, awesome. Do you guys do that here? I'm sure you guys yeah, have somebody oh, yeah. you can recommend, right? Yeah, no, definitely. We can um, have uh, professional, custom-fitting mouth guards made here readily. And what's the difference between that? They just kind of mold them tighter. Exactly. So. They take an impression, we send it to a lab, and the lab fabricates them by hand. And then, so obviously, like the athlete things. can breathe way better. Exactly, right? exactly. It's not, yeah, we, yeah. Not right. as bulky. Exactly. Right, yeah, we look awesome. We love the bulkiness. Awesome. So Thank you for the tour, ma'am. You are very We'll welcome. get out of here. For any of you guys watching, I'll upload this to YouTube later, but now you know what it's like at Evergreen Dental Arts. All right. Later, Tram. Right. <laughs> yes. Have a good Thank one. You. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And make sure I upload this in HD this way.